sugar kills muscle tissue. I remember reading that in a Franco Colombo book over 40 years ago. If you're not familiar with Franco Colombo, you know, he was a Mr. Olympia. He was one of the, the, the famous all time bodybuilders. He was Arnold Schwarzenegger's best friend. I really follow Franco Colombo, was a big fan of his and Arnold as well. And I read that in the book and how I interpret it back then is that yes, sugar kills muscle tissue. Don't, don't eat sugar. But now that I'm older and I've been studying, you know, exercise physiology and nutrition for like over 40 years, what I think Franco Colombo meant is that when you're eating sugar, you're going to increase your body fat. Eating too much sugar is just unhealthy for the body. And I'm a big believer in a low carb, whole food, natural diet. Like for example, I remember when Sylvester Stallone was in the movie Copland and he had to gain 50 pounds for that movie. I'll never forget. I read an article about him, like how he gained the weight. And he said that he ate pancakes, stacks of pancakes with maple sugar every single day. You know, those high sugar, high carb type foods, those are the foods that make you overweight. See, your body can only store and process so much sugar, so much carbohydrates. Even if you're a big muscular guy, maybe you can store away 1,500, 2,000 calories of carbohydrates and sugar in your muscle, maybe another four, four, 500 calories in your liver. But after about 2,500 calories, of stored sugar, stored carbohydrates, any other carbs you're eating are gonna be converted into body fat. I don't think that sugar kills muscle tissue, it just makes you overweight. And if you follow me on YouTube, I'm a big believer in like a low carb, whole food, natural diet. And I'm not talking about a ketogenic diet we're eating like thanks to no carbohydrates. I'm talking about eating like a hundred, 150 grams of carbs. Like my general rule is, if you're 150 pounds or less, stay under 100 grams of carbohydrates a day and make them like high fiber, healthy carbs, like vegetables and some fruits. If you're a bigger guy or gal, you know, say you're 200 pounds, eat 150, 200 grams of carbohydrates a day. But I would say this, if you're overweight and you want to lose some weight, I would do something like MyFitnessPal, one of those apps. You know, track how many carbohydrates, how many calories you're eating for a couple of weeks. And whatever you are, just reduce your carbohydrates. Like for example, if you're eating 400 grams of carbohydrates a day, go to 300. If you're eating 300 grams of carbohydrates a day, go to 200. Most of your empty calories are going to come from processed carbohydrates, the breads, the pastas, the junk food, the cookies, the cakes, the potato chips, the pretzels. These are the foods that have no nutrition. These are trigger foods. These are foods that when you start eating them, you, when you start eating them, you just can't stop. Switch over to a relatively low carb, whole natural food diet, and you are going to be so happy. Now, if you wanna learn more about eating a low carb, whole natural diet, check out this video.